Welcome once more to Stereo 3D Plays, once more to Half-Life 2 VR Mod. I was about to just load into the game to do the intro and then I noticed something that's been happening a lot since I started playing this. It appears I spawn at different places in the start menu. This is giving me a very different result in the scale of this menu over here. Like right now, it's a lot smaller than it should be. I don't know if a force position reset could be initiated when loading this scene, but it's it's not like I walked six feet back after loading the game either. This is, it really loaded in like this, and this is a bit hard now to go and precisely, holy crap, that's far. Hopefully I, hopefully the top saves the good one, but yeah, that's been an issue. Uh, the, the scaling of the UI is a little weird. I don't know if it's a quest thing. I could swear I've seen it do this on the index as well. So it's just really not just uh, this headset. I saw this bridge over here. Just to make sure not to fall off of it. All right. Can I also attack with it? Oh, I can't get up there? Huh. Not from here at least. Uh, what is it again? It's right, uh, right X, uh, left X, uh, left fucking X. Okay, there appears to be a mechanism of some sort. Wait, what the fuck is that? What the hell is that? What did that do? Because that looks like it wants to send me, like, the bad way. Oh, shit. Uh, how do I change weapons? Okay, like that. This is looking really good. Once again, I am using Oculus Air Link at a fixed 200 megabits per second setting, and it is quite incredible. Is it going to fucking close this thing? There we go. Because now all the menus get uh, fucking go over one another and doesn't know which one to close after that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Whoa. Hey, the view out here is actually impressive. There's not much to see. It's just impressive that the view is there like that. Okay, so there's obviously one switch that doesn't work. Oh. Okay, well that's all I wanted, but now I heard an alarm which probably means bad things. So, what are we doing today? Well, what we're doing today is we're progressing in the game. We're gonna make it to that little town I remember from playing with the, uh, the Oculus Rift DK2 back in 2014. The last I remember of this game, and that's gonna mark the point where I start progressing. Today's part is going to be a little shorter. I gave myself a time cap, actually. It's a Sunday night, so I'm working tomorrow. I can't play for as long as I would like to. So I put myself a time cap by using Oculus Air Link, which is going to have an hour, 45 minutes to two hour battery life. I'm on 120 hertz right now, by the way, so it may actually tank a little faster than usual. I am giving that a try because, hey, if we have access to 120 hertz, I'm going to take it. It brings a huge perk to you, the viewer, as the capture is a lot smoother when I use that. Uh, I'm using the Oculus Mirror, so when, um, yeah, when this happens, you're yeah, actually going to see it. It's a little annoying right now. I kind of made it a little too tight, but I'm just going to make sure I stand in uh, my uh, play space. Uh, but that's it. It went so well last time. Today, I'm expecting to just make it to the gravity gun. I just need to know how that thing goes, how that town feels, because that's kind of like the horror side of Half-Life. It's going to go a little less military, a little more horror, and I, I kind of think it's important to check that out. So I just opened that gate. Uh, it's quite obvious that I have to get into this little thing here and get my ass over to the other side. Ooh, 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 ooh easy there, easy there, buddy. Easy, easy. We're not gonna fall off a fucking straight line bridge, right? Well, we can fall off this, though. So, oh, that was awesome. Can we do it in one shot? Can we do it in one? No, we're not gonna be able to, no, no. No, no, abort, abort, go around, go around. It's very sensitive, this control. 
And it helps, by the way, something I forgot to say in the last video. It really helps when you anticipate your corners. Ah, shit, I'm gonna miss it. It really helps when you anticipate your corners. So the rotation, if you're, for example, staring straight ahead and doing this, that's not gonna feel good. What will feel good is if you're going in a straight line, you wanna turn right, look to the right, look at where you're gonna turn, anticipate your corner. Come on, ah, oh, God. I got it, I got it. I mean, that's enough. Here we go. Oh, shit. Floating screen. That was amazing. Ooh, holy fuck. That was a hell of a... I, I am a bit disappointed that they put a load screen there. Wow, that bloom. Holy shit. That, that bloom is going off, man. Where are we? Oh, there's a little sign there. I guess that's a... <laughs> Follow the Half-Life logos. Do I? No, I don't have my flashlight. I just want to check to see if there's any hidden little things here. How come I couldn't turn there? That was fucking weird. It actually prevented me from turning as if there's a wall or something. But a moving wall. Oh, look! It's the second time today I use a ladder and it works perfectly. All right, let's go find out what is up with this. Is there combat left? Are we headed towards a cutscene? I don't... This part is a bit of a blur to me, actually, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Whoa. You've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Hello? Take it easy in there. They're safe now. But you'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. It's you. Dr. Freeman? Yeah? Dr. Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly while well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. This is amazing. I can tell you something right now. I, uh... I'm feeling a lot less analytical about this. Uh, I, I feel it's the first part where I'll I'm... take you down to Eli right away. Okay, where I'm kind of playing the game <laughs> more than just analyzing every little thing about it. Like, because I, I kind of figured it out by now. This mod is not complicated to install. Doesn't need other mods to run. It's, we could certainly use the extra help around here. It's just pure We've simplicity. We've a lot of ground the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your drink. I don't remember. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. We've figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. You, I'm sorry, you said something? Oh, here's a Eli now. Couldn't you describe to me what I just saw? Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. Hello. Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you hitting on me or something? Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. All right. Uh, sure, push me out of exactly where I want to go look around. <laughs> Hi there, buddy. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. 
We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. <laughs> ha! Oh, Gordon. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't oh, believe hi. you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's Jesus Christ. Oh. With the possible exception of you. Cool. Dad, please. Uh, really cool. Whoa. Of course you push me while I'm doing that. For fuck's sake. The pushing is awful, by the way. That you need to be a hardcore VR player to take that. Holy shit, that's bad. Oh. That's not bad at all. Who's humming? Are you fucking humming? I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> are you blaming me? <laughs> no. She is the suspicious. You are suspicious, ma'am. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <laughs> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Finally! So, Thank you! you. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. Stop it. You're weird. We, we suspect you of bad things. I'm watching you. Can, can I do two fingers? No. Damn it. See you in a little while, Gordon. Yeah. So Don't get Watson. stabbed by her! She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. She's one of the main reasons he's gonna get stabbed. About how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> Hell yeah! You can call it the Zero Point Energy Field Manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. Oh. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Okay, right hand. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. Wait, hang on, you can... Oh, like that! It still does snap it the fuck out. That's because you put a rubber band you instead of a rope. Stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. Alright. <laughs> it actually hurt me. Yeah? See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. There we go. I, I just, just did this. All right. All right. This is cool. This is really cool. I am so stoked right now because the one thing I wanted to check out and left, oh shit, look at this, is actually really good. Oh, look at that! Out of the park! Beware of dog. Ooh. Hi. Whoa. Now let me call dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Good doggy. Gordon, this is dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Yeah. Go ahead, dog. Throw! What the fuck? Throw what? Oh! I see. Come on, come on. Awesome. Nice. 
Oh, whoops. I fucked it. Sorry. Throw it, dog. Ooh. I wasn't paying attention there for a second. I was looking out of my play space. You missed. I scored. I, I just scored on your ass. What's wrong? What was that? Whoa! Scanners! Oh, the combine's sweeping the area! We gotta head back to the lab! Come on, Gordon! You hear it? What took you so long? Going. Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Oh my god. She just pushed Hurry, the shit yes. out of me. Paradise. Be careful when you go through the scene. It it's so tight in here. He will push you. Enough, Close your eyes or something. It's really bad. Come on, Gordon. Come on. Oh. Well, thank you. You fucking ripped the door off. Holy shit. This is amazing. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, these stairs. It's probably another problem with this mod. The stairs are really rough. I think that that's the way the game's made, honestly, but... The stairs are really rough. Can I, can I just push this? Oh! Yeah. Uh, oh my god, what the fuck was that? Uh, okay, I can only use the, the push mechanic. Is this? It's a fucking joke. Really? What is this? Jesus Christ! <laughs> the fuck was this? It's like nope, nope. Right? Easy ladder. Yes. When the ladders go forward, they work great. Okay. We don't go to Ravenholm. Yeah. Well. Thanks for telling me now. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Yes, I remember this. I'm like having flashbacks now of that last time I played. And I, I remember not having played very long, like something like 45 minutes in this area. That's probably right around what I'm going to do. Um, cause like I said, it's, it's a Sunday night. I'm not planning on like a big ass session and I just wanted to progress up till this point, and I'm just, I'm so fucking happy to be here, honestly. So 
don't know if I want to destroy those. Whoa. Okay, yeah, I probably do. Of course, that was going to do that. Jeez, that's a lot of fucking shots. All right, what are we in Resident Evil 2? What's this? Oh. Oh. Okay, this is, this is... Um... Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you that we may have a problem. The city is under attack. Oh, there we go. Rest in peace. Um, I, th I feel like using the gravity gun on this is, is overkill, but ooh, I just realized something. Yeah. Holy shit. That's a lot of them. Excuse me, I'm here at the counter to serve your order. Sir, your order. Would we'll die already. Jesus Christ. They, they fucking burn for like three hours, too. Okay. Um, let's get back in my acceptable play space. Actually. Nice. Oh, that did fuck me up a little bit, did it? Very nice. Oh yeah, I remember this. How the fuck does this? They have become like these peculiar demons which dwell in matter, but in whom no life may be found. So how the fuck does this work again? Hang on. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, well, this, this is kind of the... Uh, I think I know what I have to do. I think, I think I fell for the same fucking shit the last time I did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, can we just get the zombies, please? I just want to get rid of the zombies, honestly. Uh, but... Like, originally, I could swear I'd done the same thing. I went and thought that this was going to be like a gravity gun puzzle thing, right? But, uh, it, it turns out I think the solution is to crouch. What the hell was that? What game kind of fucking tax bullshit was that? Here, let's just, let's... I mean, these guys, these guys aren't too good with this, but... And watch this. We're going to go take a look at them up close. And this is the fucking solution. It's just fucking... Yeah. That's, that's a lot simpler now, is it? Hi, I see you. No, no, no. Oh, of course not. That's right, baby. Oh, another spinny thingy.
There we go. I don't fucking get hit by it. But I will get it running. It's in the middle of the room. It doesn't look very dangerous. Actually. Not enough force to do anything there. Shh. I'm there looking at the fucking... What the hell was... What the hell happened to that one's texture? Did you see that? It came all white. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, uh, there appears to be planks there, so let's do this. Uh, I'm actually gonna need to... Did I use this? Ah, I didn't even fucking use it yet. Why not? Just stay in that clip. Hi? Hello? I mean, it's, that's a lot of barrels for one customer. How's that? Like that? Not exactly sure why, but the reload mechanic on the quest is a little different. I actually have to pull the thing, whereas with the valve index, I just point at the gun and, and tap my trigger. Which I prefer, by the way, but it doesn't matter. Either way, they work. Both work great. I just, I didn't know while I was like starting my intro. I didn't know this. <laughs> Fuck. Legitimately, am I firing blanks? Am I firing blanks? Fuck, it's not you I wanted to shoot. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm firing blanks. I don't remember these guys requiring particularly more shots than the soldiers. In fact, if I, if I recall correctly, it was the other way around. But maybe not. I guess not. That, that, was, uh, that was quite fun, actually. <laughs> it's like really, really fucking cool so far. What is this? I have to have passed the point where I played with the Oculus Rift DK2. I'm almost sure. Oh no, I'm not! Can I just let them cook? Ah, who is this? Another life to save? Yes. I'll keep my eye on you. More than that. I cannot promise. Okay, I remember this. This is, uh, I'm not there yet. I remember he helps me throughout. Ah, shit! Excuse me. You better not come to life. That gun is amazing. I really love the Magnum. Okay, and I think it's it's all we got, right? Oh, oh, oh. I got the ability to close the fire, but I do want to go in there and see what the, what this was all about. 
So I have canisters. I can't take the canisters with me. I can fire them. And what does this control? What the hell? Oh, that's interesting. Why is that there? What? What? Yeah, you can even open it and shit. What the hell, Half-Life? The color of the liquid, I think, determines the strength of your shot. I never noticed the color in there. That or it was just the lighting randomly doing that. Oh, 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 that's bad. When that happens, when you start rotating while selecting your weapon, that's really bad. What the fuck? Okay, so clearly there's something to turn the fuck off. Is it the switch back there? Did that do it? I don't think so. No, there's... Fuck. It's like multiple valves and fucking... Yeah, there's also the valve. Hang on. Hang on. We'll probably have to do this. That stops the fu- Oh, and then I get inside. Jesus, fuck. Dumbass. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're not, you know. That's, that's how we do it. Wow! Oh, that's nice. I don't hear any others. Oh, I, I hear one now. Very nice. This is going really well. It's not as thrilling as the airboat section. It really isn't. But for one thing, the, for on one hand, the town, I, like just seeing this town again in VR, the way I really wanted to continue playing through it, I'm just really happy. And also, everything on ground, on foot, has been working great so far. So, uh, yeah. We're getting some quality gameplay here with this mod so far. Okay. You want to do that? Go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> that was great. Is it, is it fucking locked in? Yeah, it is. Okay. That, that's the weird reload mechanic because it doesn't fucking register correctly. Okay.
Man, they take a lot of shots. About as many shots as a, a full-size zombie. Oh, fucking assholes. You got me there. That was very nice. Oh, oh. It's actually directing me. Well, I can hear enemies, but I can't see them yet. Okay. I'm assuming that's where I have to go. <sighs> Fuck platforming. Oh my god. This ladder. This ladder. Ladder. Jesus. There we go. Well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! Fuck sake! In home, you do well to be vigilant. Okay. Let's... Okay, that, that should be enough for now. Please move back. Don't tell me to move, move the fuck back. Hey. Any, any ones left? Why would I want to lower this car? Oh! I see. I see. I see what they were trying to show me. It's not just a way to open the passage, it's also a way to kill the fucking zone. Ah, but I, I enjoyed... I enjoyed shooting them down with a machine gun. I actually really enjoyed that. I get it. I get it now. Okay. So there's something there, and there's something here. Better and better! I am Father Grigori. You have already met my congregation. <laughs> so I swear to this guy. I swear to this guy. I don't know how far I got with this guy. With his shenanigans. But I'm getting really close. I think I'm going to be able to tell. When I can. My god. Hey. For older textures. This really doesn't look bad at all. 
It actually looks really in disrepair and shit. Whoa. It's like it went into another world there. <laughs> Did you see the... Oh, shit. Jeez, fuck's sake. These are hard to deal with, are they? Yeah, these are gonna be pretty hardcore and there's no fucking health along the way in this fucking section. Speaking of. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really needed that. Ah, it is you, brother. I apologize, but no son. To the least of your concerns. There we go. Okay, I don't need any more. Thank you. Thank you. falling off I want to see if there's other tricks I can use here before I head on down there jeez you see the quantity of them and is there anything to go to there no No. See, I could jump across, but I couldn't get in there, so I don't think that's the way. I think that this is the way, but it's a, such a weird little ledge. Wait, what the fuck? I'm getting the first warning that my quest battery is low. This is, this is part of the plan tonight. Shit. But there's nowhere else, to, apparently, to go. So let's just try getting there, and if I fall, I fall. I'm gonna fall. No, 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 no. There's no way I can make it up there. Okay. Let's just see if... Maybe... Oh, I hate this jumping, man. It always fucking fails me when I need it to fucking not fail. Oh! Did... Where did everybody go? I'm feeling there's something. Hmm. Oh shit! Well, that's 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 not the gift I was looking for. The fucking fast movers are fast. Oh, and the other one's cooked in in the fire that was on the ground. That's isn't that lovely, man. The fire goes on for a really long time. That would be a, a complaint of mine with this game. Okay, gotta remember. Oh shit, I'm way off my center. Gotta remember that this game plays fucking dirty with these little hiding spots. Very good. And when you come back out, they usually have more enemies. Okay, cool, very good. I think this is a great place to actually just start playing the game because I'm almost certain I've passed. I've just, just passed the point at which I had played up to. From here on... What's that? Folks, what am I in for? I hear... I hear two sounds I don't recognize. I'm worried here. <laughs> this is... All right, uh, so I'm actually going to do my outro. Uh, this has been the part three of Half-Life 2 VR. A lot less analysis going on, because now I'm starting to be familiar with the mod, and I'm just actually trying to play the game. 
I did a bit of analysis. There was the gravity gun. How was that going to translate to motion controller VR? I think they did a goddamn good job of it. I, I, I really think this is how you do the thing. It doesn't really matter whether it's VR or, or, or desktop or 3D or 2D. It's just the way it works. Uh, it, it looks like the base game handles this type of thing so well that it, it really doesn't matter the medium. It's, it's going to be awesome to begin with. This is a, basically, if you already own Half-Life 2, this is a free first-party VR game that you can play right away at any time you want. Doesn't take a high-end system or anything. It's freaking Half-Life 2. That's the other advantage you have here is you do not need to upgrade your hardware and go with anything insane. Hell no, it's simple as hell. It'll run on the lowest spec VR systems. I really think y'all should be getting yourselves a copy of this. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be saying in my feature review, but of course we're gonna go in depth. And I'll explain why I think this is probably the best mod adaptation right now of a VR game that does not itself support VR. Um, I, I mean, the Resident Evil mods are amazing, but they take a little more work. They're not as well documented for the user at the beginning. I don't find them as user-friendly. Uh, this is just uh, another level above. It's a commercial-grade product. I'm really, really impressed. I'm surprised this even exists. And, of course, the game itself is a fucking legend. It's a goddamn fucking legend. You, you can't go wrong with this. It's an extremely fun game. Uh, forgot how much fun it was. I was afraid it was be, it would be extremely difficult, especially after the uh, the beta test, where the hit detection was so way off uh, that I was just plain worried that it wasn't going to work out. I, I was just like, oh, "What the fuck is going on?" I guess you, you know. I guess it's it's a lot harder than I remember it, or you know. But. I, I don't know. So far, it's just been great. Since since the hit detection's been improved, I think that's it. it, it, it this is it. We have... Oh, shit. We have ourselves a VR game. Oh, nice. Precision throw. Oh, he's going to go right into it. Beautiful. Good job, buddy. Good job. Anyways, but... Uh, with the Oculus Quest, either wired over Airlink, that's all been tested so far, in my case... Um, with the Valve Index, beautiful performance, beautiful adaptation. One thing I would say is, over the Index, uh, because I'm using Airlink right now, the resolution looked greater, so that it has the edge over there, but the two headsets are at par virtually, except for their physical differences, like the controllers and the field of view you get. It's, they, they are at par, the experience is the same. In fact, I am quite enjoying today's playthrough session because of Airlink. I am really, really enjoying the air linkage right now. I care not for thou art my helper, my strength. And... They're all cut up. Yeah, I'm not trusting that one. But yeah, this this has been actually another absolute delight. And this time it's good because I did the airboat, right? I did the beginning of the game where I had to play through what I already knew again. So I was like, ah, I just rushed through it. Then I did the airboat, which really gave me new information. And now today going through this on foot using the, the locomotion, the standard locomotion was my best standard locomotion playthrough with this mod so far. Uh, it's it, it's been absolutely great. Hang on, I want my brick back. This is working out really great. I didn't realize I could do it this easily. Shut up! Wow, you guys are pushovers with a fucking brick! Let me stomp your head on the wall. Wow! I'm making a bit of progress here as I'm talking to you for the outro just because I... I figured I, I could. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here, might as well. I'm, I'm talking about this as I go. But honestly, the gravity gun, as you can see right now, I'm using it during the outro, has been an absolute delight. The cutscene after the dam section was an absolute delight. The, the, the graphics are looking absolutely beautiful. The performance is excellent. I'm getting tooltips in my screen to tell me what button I'm supposed to press, especially when I'm confused. The only time this didn't happen was with the airboat, and I'm assuming the buggy is gonna be the same problem. Now, the buggy is something I could wait, 
until I try before I start determining more. But no, uh, based on the airboat, the buggy is actually going to be even more comfortable. So I, I can already safely say that uh, I know enough. What is that? What is that? Oh, I missed? Fuck you. I really, I missed. What is that? Fucking sack of shit. That was amazing, by the way. The, the arm over the gate. <sighs> Holy shit. That shocked me. I know for a fact now that I am past where I was playing with the DK2. Ladies and gentlemen, uncharted territory. Official. I've had official confirmation of uncharted territory. Oh no, not a laundromat. Not a laundromat. Bad things happen at Half-Life laundromats. Oh, well, this is... Oh, oh. Damn it. Woo! Fuck! And I lost my brick! Fucking bitch. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh, fuck you. Sacks of shit. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, fuck! Minor oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm fine. Why does it... Th oh, b maybe because I don't have any uh, armor left. I'm trying to look for anything that might be on the ground. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and park somewhere here and just end it. This, 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 just, this is incredible. This is fucking incredible. I'm trying to do my outro and I can't fucking stop playing it. And my, my headset is telling me, shut down, shut down. I'm about to throw you out, dude. You're out of battery. 120 hertz, Oculus Quest, not bad. Really not bad for today. And finally, now it looks like I'm ready to make that feature review. It's gonna be highly positive. Uh, in fact, I may start producing the feature review before I release this part. That's uh, that's how cool this is. So uh, that's it. You've been watching Stereo 3D Plays and this amazing... Oh, by the way, before I go, this is something I keep forgetting to talk about. The lighting around me. I've done some work. So it's now a three light system. I actually have one light here, one light here, and one light behind me. And uh, they're, they're set to different positions of the screen in the game. So... Like, if I got some red in the center, blue on the left, and green on the right, then the lights are going to match that. So there's a lot of variety in the shot, and I'm trying to improve that gradually over time. Hold up. He's... he's. I'm, I'm taking my brick back. But yeah, it, uh, I'm, I'm working hard on that to make it... Uh, oh, shit! More, more, more and more immersive. It's, it's hard to fucking get them with a fucking brick. There we go, finally. There we go. Oh my god! These are so cool. This is gonna be a really cool part. What? Come closer. Come closer? You've stirred up hell. <laughs> a man after my own heart. Here I have a more suitable gun for you. You oh. need catch. Good. Nice! Keep it close. My advice to you is, aim for the head. Hush. Right hand Take trigger, time. fire. There right hand B button. For... Move on and I will meet you at the church. Careful, dude! Above you! Okay, I gotta cock every shot. Oh my god. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I have to stop playing this. This is so good. I cannot stop playing it. I'm gonna run out my battery mid-play mid and it's gonna fuck up the game. All right. 
Thanks for watching Stereo 3D Plays Half-Life 2 VR Part 3, and I will see you soon, probably in another game at this point. We gotta get on to Resident Evil 2, and maybe Fallout needs a bit of TLC right now. Alright, see you soon, people.